So, um, what, are, what is your name? My name is Scott Rose. And what company do you work for? SE Rose Trucking and Excavating. And what are you doing today? Installing a thousand gallon septic tank. Uh huh. With a vacuum test. Okay, and why are you doing this vacuum test? Because it is required by the state of New Jersey and also uh, make sure there's no leaks in the tank, um, no leaks in the risers. Seals everything up correctly, and to do it, uh, they use truck the air from the truck. It's like it, it's hooked up to the tank. It siphons the air out, and it becomes vacuumized. And it holds uh, five pounds for five minutes. It's bolstered. Okay, and what if it doesn't hold air? We, we uh, find a leak and repair it, and try to test over again. So it means you have a leak in the tank. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh. And you're the owner of the tank. And you've been doing this for the rest of the tank. What's the idea of vacuum testing? It's for and it's here for waste resources. on experience okay. is probably going to be fine but we're just going to wait a few minutes but by using vacuum we don't have to sit here and come back 24 hours later and waste all that time in water and what does it mean if it drops well then we need to find uh, where the leak, you know, is. the leak is for instance at the beginning I could hear hissing up at that end uh -huh. and once I stepped on that lid and seated it into the butyl that stop and you could see all the boots suck in and we put the, the butyl around here because I heard some hissing here as well and now that's gone and the gauge is staying where it's supposed to. Yeah, it's been five minutes now for the test and the gauge is still up above the five mark where we started so this tank is watertight. Can't fake that. Nope. 
thank you very much. You are quite welcome.